There's pole dancing and there's cabaret. Put the two together and you get Bobby's Babes in cabaret. Now we're here at opening night at the acoustic bar tab and you're probably wondering what all the rage is about. Well, let's go find out. Sensual, seductive, cheeky, and... Now a stage art? Yep, you heard right. Pole dancing and art form. Let's face it, pole dancing has a stigma of being sleazy, erotic, and well, lowbrow, and has had its fair share of criticisms from the public. But Bobby's Babes in Cabaret tell us something different. Strip away the bad girl image and sleaze. For their performances at TAB, the athletic dancers took a rather unconventional route by incorporating cabaret into pole dancing sets. By infusing cabaret into pole dancing, is it actually an attempt to uh, skew it into a, a, a better light in that sense? You could say that, but in Singapore we're quite lucky. We don't actually have strip clubs where people automatically associate pole dancing with stripping. So, um, in a way, yes, I would say, still there are some people who think pole dancing is sleazy, and this is an uh, avenue for us to show people that it can be very classy. Combining athletic strength with with acrobatic grace, the highly agile moves looked practiced and well controlled. More than just a performance, pole dancing is also becoming the preferred choice for a good workout for women. Honestly, for a woman, there isn't a better workout. First, you get to do strength training, right? You get to do cardio, you get to dance, you get to be sexy. What more can you ask for? Putting together a show with two segments spanning nine performances is no mean feat and with the infusion of cabaret, the normal pole dancing routine had to be well timed and choreographed. For the first time in Singapore, they're infusing cabaret into pole dancing. What are some of the challenges that you face trying to organize this? Actually, the biggest challenge is the pole. <laughs> biggest challenge is the pole. Okay. How so? How so? Setting up of the pole was tough because um, if you look at the pole we had today, it was a freestanding pole and it kind of... Yeah, it kind of it wiggled a bit. I got scared for a while there. <laughs> The, in actual fact, in our studio, it's secured to the ceiling and the floor, so it's a lot more, you know, it's a lot, it's a lot more sturdy. Yeah. yeah. So here we had to get people to, and we had we spent quite a lot of money and time to construct the correct, you know, freestanding pole. Because most clubs, you know, most places don't have the ceiling for us to secure. That was the biggest challenge. So the biggest challenge actually was the pole. <laughs> Who would have guessed, right? All the dancers performing in Bobby's Babes in Cabaret are teachers in Bobby's Pole Studio Singapore. And with five very attractive and talented dancers, how did Lena decide who got to star in each show segment? I guess I know my teachers very well. I know what they're good at. So I just kind of pick one. So if this item is sexy, let's, let's get the sexiest instructor. If this is graceful, let's get the graceful instructor. So by saying that, does it mean that the uh, solo acts, are they the, some of the best performers you have? Most definitely, yeah. We wouldn't put on a solo unless they are spectacular. In the next clip, we speak to the instructors and uncover the truth. Is it true that less clothes make for better pole dancing? Yeah, yeah, yeah.